hey, Big Daddy Shin hanging out, Clash of Clans, right? But actually, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm actually talking about Clash Royale, okay? So some of you guys know that I play Clash Royale like crazy. In fact, so much that I started my own clan. So we started in uh, January 1st, and uh, my old clan, great clan, great clan, right? People like Sir Noob and Slayer, Ella, you know, D-Chun, all those dudes, you guys uh, helped me, like, grow. But what happened is it was more of a, like, family-friendly, like, just casual gaming, great, okay? But what happens is I'm a highly competitive dude, and if I put in my time in this game then I might as well have other people that are highly competitive as well. Yes? So in the beginning, it was tough because it's like when you start with only one person, yourself, right, me. And then so slowly building it up, building it up, building up, and then, um, you know, you're getting like whoever could just join in. But now we're at the point where it's like we're we're flirting with capacity. You know, you could get up to 50 people per uh, clan. And so what we do, so... I have experience on building clans in Clash of Clans. Clash Royale is the first time I'm doing it because I just played the game for like four months, right? But Clash of Clans, we were a highly competitive uh, clan, learning all the strategies and like your leaders and stuff. So when I was faced with the situation to uh, start my own clan, I needed to get my right hand dude, Gob. What's up, man? So this dude, he was my co-leader at Clash Clans. I go, okay, figure if we're gonna build it, we can build it together, right? So Stuart was part of the other other group, and then Kurt was part of the group or whatever. So basically, it's just me and God, and then you know some students, my former students or present students, they want to play the game. Okay, great, you know. But in time, it's getting to a point where it's like a lot of people were just joining just randomly, like we have no idea where they are. So people from like Spain, Indonesia, I think some dude from Russia. Italy, Mexico. I mean, it's 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 a constant revolving door. Now, thing is, what I ask is that the people are active. Okay, I don't care if you're good or bad. It's just a fact that when you go in, there's other people that play the game, and then you can see how many members are online. It's kind of discouraging when it's like there's 50 people in your clan, only one person's on. You're like, oh gosh, I feel horrible. I mean, it's bad enough that I play the game like a lot, right? But uh, um. It's always awesome when any time of the day you could go on and there'll be like four or five people on. So if you want to get a two-on-two -two game going or whatever, great, okay? So now that we have people from all over the world in our clan, that's pretty good. Now, as time goes on and then we find out, you know, new people that join, they don't do anything for like, you know, a couple days, okay, we kick them out. No harm, no foul. You know, it's just they just don't play the game that much. And then all of a sudden these people, they keep coming in and then so uh um you know some people they really enjoy the game like vincent if you're watching awesome he joined and then now he's like really awesome right so so uh um, you know people help you build the game and it's it's it's, it's pretty fun but uh, uh yeah so now we're in the process so we're, we're not now getting higher guys so i'm not even the best dude in my clan i mean i've been playing for four months how you expect it whatever right but it's like we're getting a lot of higher levels in the clan, and it's great, right? So, you know, it's it's kind of like a, you know, like a little bit of arrogance when you start getting better people. You're like, all right, yeah, we're really good, we're really good. But how do you know? It's when you war all the time. So basically, I'm putting this clan together to to have the culture being a highly active and competitive clan. Now, I don't want the people to be studying this stuff and all this stuff, whatever. You know, I mean, it's just a fact where it's like, you know, we're pretty good. We win some, we lose some, great, right? Way to pass time if you have, like, nothing to do or whatever, right? <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, so some of you that are in the group and then you check this out, you know, um, yeah, those are basically the rules. I mean, just keep going and then uh, the whole donation and receiving donate asking for cards that's great just keep requesting keep requesting as soon as the thing do it and let people um donate stuff because you get more points when you donate right and then once we get to the war status when we start you know fighting wars you get more stuff at the end of each war also so it's like oh my gosh 
You know, it's like people are starting to get more stuff and the game gets more fun. Yes. Um, yeah. So anyways, before getting like too crazy, if you want to be in a highly competitive clan, you know who the leader is. It's not like you join some clan and like, who is this guy? Who is this big daddy? Shandu? No, you know who I am, right? And then I'll have videos about playing the game and then, you know, playing game doubles with like these other people on the thing. You know, it's it's it's, it's pretty fun. So it's like we're, we're like family, but we're not, right? And then, uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's pretty much that. If you want to do it, join. So my clan in Clash Royale is Big Daddy Shin, right? Pretty simple. Is it egotistical? Totally, you know? But it's a way that people can find me. They go, oh, you play Clash Royale? Yeah, what's your clan name? Big Daddy Shin. Find it, right? So, yeah, if, if you do remember... Don't be offended if, like, you know, it's not for you. You're like, oh, okay, it's fun, da, 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 da. and then, you know, you don't want to play for, like, weeks. And I get it, you know, but, you know, as nice a guy as I am, you know, we're in the competitive gaming type thing. So that's what we're doing. So if you want to join, awesome. Clash Royale, Big Daddy Shin. If you don't want to join, well, thanks for watching this video. But um, this one, it's one of those ones where it's not really a, a sales pitch. It's more of a, you know, seeing who's out there. If you guys like the fact that you could see a video of your leader in play, great, right? Welcome to the clan. People don't speak English. Bienvenidos a nuestro clan. Nuestra familia, right? But anyways, that's pretty much that. So, um you know, okay, it's rules. Be active, donate, be friendly, no swearing, no bad words. So, and then also, oh, if if you are a student, do your homework first and make sure that uh, you get your your you get your regular stuff done before you play the game. Don't be like, oh, mom, dad, yeah, I got to do this thing. No, 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 no. I mean, we're we're all human beings. We understand. Okay. This game isn't the number one thing in your life, but if it's something that you really enjoy, this is the clan for you. Our age ranges from really young to really old, and um, it's pretty cool. All right? Anyway, Big Daddy Shin, BDS Gaming, Clash Royale. If I can be in my clan, you can be in my clan. All right? Anyways, see you next time.